Hey zombie mob, Jason here with Day Train Fearless. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Make sure you guys check out uh, my links down below. I do a day trade the S&P EMA futures um, and also the stock market. I've been doing it for 20 plus years. Um, I do trade crypto. Um, I'm usually not a crypto uh, channel, but uh, I'm going to start doing a couple of these zombie Inu uh, price analysis charts a week, I think, um, just to give you guys all a heads up because I am part of the zombie uh, mob. Uh, I own about 35 billion tokens uh, just for full transparency. Also, I, I'm not... I am not being sponsored by Zombie Inu in any way. Hey, if you guys want to reach out to me, uh, kind of hit me up. If you guys want to partner up on anything, just let me know. But I do love the project. I've done a lot of homework on this project. Uh, I like everything about where they're going. I love the gaming side. I love the NFT side. I love the metaverse side. And this is probably the one one of the very few tokens that I'm really interested in at this current time, and I'm I'm just starting to build a bigger and bigger position in this. So, a couple of things, uh, just so you guys remember, there are two uh, different prices. One for the ether, where it's seventy two oh six. We have about nine thousand holders. And then we also have the Binance, uh, which has about 12,000 holders, and we're at 85, okay? I'm just going to use these two numbers when I talk about this. But as far as the uh, what I see with the uh, charts, because that is my number one thing is uh, chart analysis. I, Like I said, I've been doing this for 20-plus years in the stock market. We have nice big volume, okay? Nice big move up with nice volume. And then on the way down, we really have almost no volume, right? Which is actually a very good thing. This is a positive bullish uh, thing for, because what's happening is you don't see people people puking out their positions, right? They're not selling uh, what they were buying. This is kind of telling you there's a lot more long-term holders in this, which is a very positive thing. With that being said, um, we're just kind of, if we just draw, kind of we'll do a couple of lines right here, right? We have a falling wedge, which is a very bullish pattern, right? Big move, pull back in the flag, and then a falling wedge where it's getting tighter and tighter in this wedge. And then sometimes it's kind of like a jack in the box, keep cranking it, and then the little jack comes up and price moves higher. With that being said, here is also the flag pull, right? So here's our bull flag. If we could break above this 10, I think our levels right above are 15. 20 and then uh all-time highs but with that being said if price does keep falling okay which i'm like i said i'm a long-term holder i want to keep buying on these dips if we get down to the three or four level i will be a buyer right old resistance becomes new support so somewhere in here okay and then i would expect it to kind of have that big bounce and i could buy a lot more at a lot cheaper prices which i would love to see but my wallet probably in the p l of it would not but with that being said um i'm a long-term holder let me buy more as cheap as i can i believe in the team i believe everything they're doing i think we're going to see some great things out of these people um the the development team from zombie inu now let's take a look at the ethereum side or sorry the uh, binance side essentially the same exact thing is going on right nice big volume on the way up on the way down very very almost no volume which is a good thing right because it's telling us consolidation here's our bull flag um kind of draw this here's our falling now with with ethereum we actually don't have a falling wedge right what we have is more of a triangle 
right? Again, same exact thing, uh, kind of bounce, 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 go up real tight, like a little jack in the box, and then potentially a break to the upside. Um, if we get down into the the three or four of a theory or of a Binance, I would actually probably say more of the four to five area is where I would look to buy Binance if you're buying the Binance. I own both. I own some Binance and I also own some Ethereum. Um, want to spread the love to both sides. Um, but I would probably buy the uh, Ethereum versus the Binance. And the reason being is because I'm saying I'm getting a lot better distribution because remember, we get 1% uh, distribution back on uh, all the transactions, but it seems like there's more money that's flowing in um, or I'm getting a better return on the Ethereum side than, than I am with the Binance, meaning more tokens. So just something uh, to be aware of. Yes, the gas fees are a lot more expensive, so you got to weigh all those things out, but I look at it this way. I'd rather spend an extra 30 bucks on gas fees right now, but if I could gain a couple hundred million tokens over the next six months or a year, right, from that distribution at lower prices, that's going to offset the 30 bucks big time uh, if it goes or when it does go higher. So that's what I'm looking at. Let's also take um, a quick look at maybe just the 30 minute chart. OK, look at this nice move. OK, we've been making lower highs, lower lows. We kind of poke, uh, dropped here. But look at this massive, uh, nice, nice uh, move higher. Uh, we're at, what, 81? <laughs> Dude, when I first started this video, we were at 71. So, hey, maybe I'm good luck. Maybe you guys better subscribe um, to this channel so you guys get these in real time and then know, hey, whenever I do a video, we're going to see price uh, kind of jump like it does. So, um, nice, nice move. If we could get above, um, just short term, look at this, right on the other side, Follow that trend line. Nice, nice pop to the upside. Maybe this is the beginning, but our major level, okay, in all seriousness that we need to break to kind of break this entire downtrend, okay, is this uh, probably 10 level. Also, if you look, we kind of have a inverse head and shoulders, right? Here's our shoulder. Here's one shoulder, our head down here, and then our other shoulder, right? Nice inverse end shoulders. And the low here is 62. The high here is 10. That's about four, right? Six to 10 is four. Flip it over. It should take us right up to around the 14 level, which I said earlier was probably our next major uh, resistance um, if we break above 10, uh, 14 to 15 level. So um, I hope you guys like this. Leave a comment um, if you guys like this, uh, if you guys want to see more of this every couple of days so you guys understand what price is doing and hopefully it'll make you guys sleep better at night. Um, I, again, I'm a long-term bag holder. Let it go lower so I can buy more. If it goes higher, I'm already locked and loaded. Um, and I hope you guys are the same way. But Zombie Mob Nation, I love you guys. I can't wait to see more of this and we'll talk to you guys soon.